SS Gentleman Dean Alejandro here for my four month update post op surgery. Coming from a car, we are doing a lot of wedding stuff, so you know, I'm gonna have to just deal with it. Sorry. It's so crazy that it's already been four months. I, I seriously cannot believe it. After the last video that I taped for you guys, I had uh, two appointments with my surgeon trying to figure out about the pus trying to figure out everything else uh, possibly revision got some information about maybe lawyers maybe having to go that different route uh, it's been a lot of stress and it's been really difficult because finding the resources to get help it, it's just it, not having an adequate amount of uh, resources out there is hard for everyone so I've really been struggling uh, with that and because my surgeon is the only one in the current state that covers it with my insurance I can't really go somewhere easily for a second opinion so that's kind of where I'm at right now also with the wedding happening so soon it's it's very very difficult I'm at the point right now <clears throat> where I'm basically choosing my battles wisely and I know that that sounds so scary and it's kind of sounds like I'm putting my health on the back burner but I'm not uh, the thing is is that I'm just following my doctors my surgeons orders because I don't want to do anything wrong and that affect me you know down later the line or late later down the line so that's kind of where I'm at right now you know I had an emergency visit with him he said that it's the same thing you know kind of just waiting and seeing so I'm just gonna go ahead and take matters into my own hands like I do which you guys know and gonna just kind of go with the flow uh, so it's I'm doing a little bit better the swelling has decreased I will make sure to have an update next month with being shirtless and everything else and we'll be able to see the biggest thing for me was I went to Pride and I walked around shirtless. It was an interesting experience. I experienced a lot of emotions I didn't think I would feel. I, it's interesting because socially when I'm out in public, uh, a lot of people you know, talk to me more now. They kind of do, I don't know. They just assume that I'm a cis hetero, which is fine, I guess, but when I was out in pride where it should feel home like home it should feel like a community I felt really secluded I felt really alone uh, isolated I I was really uncomfortable um, someone actually messaged me too as soon as I got there and I know they were trying to help but they were talking about me being self-conscious with my scars and I was mid honestly panic attack like I almost had an emotional breakdown I was very you know quiet about it and it was really difficult to do now when I started getting through the parade route and started walking because I don't normally have a, a lot of eyes on me it was really nerve-wracking and after a couple minutes about halfway through the route I started finally feeling better but I knew that if I didn't take that first step and go out in public shirtless I would bury it and be even more self-conscious so sometimes we have to make those decisions and remember to be kind to yourself remember that this is the learning process your body is changing uh, if you're on hormones or medically transitioning if not you know your everything is still changing whether it's a social adaptation or something else you need to be kind to yourself and remember that you had a long time dealing with everything else and it's perfectly fine for you to make mistakes so I just wanted to go ahead and check in and I hope that you subscribe and I'll see you later nip slip ah.